All right, man, turn to talk. Like, share, subscribe. 12 o'clock show. You know what it is. All right, man, look, man, look, man, look, man. This is the 12 o'clock show. Um, Today's episode, we're going to be talking about Meek Mill. Meek Mill, speaking on P. Diddy once again. And it just makes him look kind of crazy. But uh, some people saying that they actually glad he did it because he can distance himself from Diddy. But either way, before I get into that, you know, I got to get my legendary spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work on your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies, put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. Just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, link's right here on the screen. Cash app, PayPal's in the description. They call me the Hidden Gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 12,000 subscribers. And let me know where you're from, too, man. And uh, I'm trying to reach a million by Monday morning. You know what it is. So look, man. Let's get into it. King of the North. You know what it is. And we'll be back to discuss. All right. This comes courtesy of Chink Smooth. You know what it is, man. Don't you talk. <laughs> Let's get it. Subscribe to your shit too, bro. No, man. No, Meek. Why, brother? You were doing so good. Just when all the rumors about Meek and Diddy started to die down, Meek Mill has once again managed to get himself into some hot water. Now, if you guys remember, it was only two weeks ago when 50 Cent gave Meek Mill one of the best advice he could give him. 50 was speaking on the Meek and Diddy situation in an interview. He said when they say Meek is fruity or gay with Puff in the situation now, it's how he responds to it that makes people People talk about it more. It gets bigger and bigger and it turns into a thing going on out there. You don't that's a hundred percent facts. <clears throat> I think that when you keep harping on something, people tend to start focusing on that more and they ask, well, why is this guy why is he harping on it so much? If he didn't do anything or if ain't nothing going on, what's the point of him harping on it so much? And I think that. Meek Mill basically is putting himself out there by keep on bringing this whole situation up between him and Diddy. You know what I'm saying? And it's making him look kind of bad. I ain't going to lie. He keep on bringing it up. You know what I'm saying? Why you keep bringing it up? I don't know. I have no clue why you keep bringing it up. And it's just weird to me. Well, let's keep it going. Don't hear one thing about French Montana. And French was in that circle and around that a lot. Not one thing. And Meek shit is all over the place. It's the way they respond to what people say about them in public. They feel like, wait, that bothers you? If you say anything, then they start harping on it harder. They want the fight to continue. Basically, what 50 is saying to Meek is, bro, Shut the F up about speaking on Diddy or anything about Diddy, and no one is going to relate you to him. Today, a f Yeah, that's true. That's true. I think that they keep on bringing these things up, and it makes you, it kind of makes you look crazy because now people are asking, like, well, why is, why is, why is you still talking about Diddy? Like, Diddy's been in, 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 in jail for, for a couple of months now and you definitely should not be talking about him still. You know what I'm saying? And I know, I know, I know, uh, I know Meek, he got a long history with Diddy. A long history with Diddy. Some people saying that they got him on camera screaming, Diddy was doing something to him and all this stuff. And it's just like, I don't know, man. I don't really know what to even think about that whole situation. I don't even want to think about it because it's just, it's just not good to think about. But, I mean, what do you do, though? You know what I'm saying? Like, what 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 does Meek Mill do in, at this, at this uh, stage of his life? I mean, I believe Meek is almost in his 40s. And Diddy, I don't know how Diddy is. I think Diddy is almost, I think Diddy is in his 50s. So, 
who knows what would happen when they were when 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 Meek was a little younger and doing whatever he was doing. But to me, it's kind of like it's it's it, it's just weird to see this whole thing play out with all these people, man. And this is not the only, I'm telling y'all now, it's so much stuff, so much more stuff is going to come out. And I think that Meek is trying to get ahead of it before anything comes out. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I think Meek kind of scared, and that's why he's saying the things he's saying. Let's keep it going. Fan caught up with Meek while he was in the streets of New York City, and for some random reason, Meek wanted to denounce Diddy right then and there. Here's what Meek said. So, what's up, yeah, y'all right now, we playing out this motherfucker. This Let's real go. life. Uh-huh, real life yeah, shit, Yeah, nigga, no Diddy gang, Meek Millie in real life. Yeah. Don't ever disrespect me, you Talk that shit, Meek. <laughs> yeah, Meek. <laughs> no Diddy yeah, like what was all that for? Unless unless somebody said something to him, you know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe the cameraman or the dude was holding the camera. I don't know if the dude was holding the camera. Somebody was if somebody was holding the camera or the young boy was holding the camera. Maybe the young boy said uh something and he's saying, Don't ever disrespect me. But why would he, you know, do a video with a dude and then say that? But he did. But if he did, if that didn't happen, what's the point of you bringing up Diddy? Like, what? what why are you saying no Diddy gang? What was all that for? Like, what's the point of that? It just makes you look even more crazy. And now people are gonna start asking more questions. Like, what? What? Like, why? Why? Why, dog? Why? Why? I don't know. I just, it just to me, it just it just makes you look desperate. It makes you look like you want people to to um <clears throat> see that you ain't down with Diddy. But you was down with Diddy. You was. You was his boy boy. Gang, very interesting words from Meek officially denouncing his friendship with Diddy. Now, whether it's pressure from social media or just looking at all the fuck shit Diddy is being accused of and saying to yourself, hey, this is somebody that I do not want affiliated with me anymore. And I know you guys are going to clown him for this, but you know what? I'm going to shoot Meek just a little bit of bail here. Even though I feel like Meek had no business mentioning Diddy in this little video, and I know right now it's cool to clown Meek, but I actually commend him for finally distancing himself from Diddy. Yes, we definitely partied a lot. We have a lot of pictures and matching outfits, but with all these strange allegations coming out about you, Bro, you are not my homie, and I ain't rocking with you no more. He didn't say that, though. You you going way overboard with that one. He never said that. He just said, no Diddy gang. He never said everything you said. You know what I'm saying? And and sometimes a lot of y'all influences be putting words in these people's mouth. And, and I get it. I get it. I understand. I just can't do that. I can't do it. But he definitely didn't say that. And you, you basically saying he said that. Not, I know, I, and I know you wasn't saying he said that. You was basically saying the sentiments is that. But I ain't rolling with that. That was way overboard. My only thing is, if Diddy somehow, some way gets out of jail and avoids prison, is Meek and all these celebrities going to keep the same energy? And just in case anybody was wondering, Diddy's sons are definitely aware of what Meek just did. One of Diddy's sons, Justin Combs, he hopped in the comments saying, shaking my head. If you guys remember last week, Diddy's sons... Yeah, I want to see if they press him like they press Ray J. You know what I'm saying? What is Diddy's sons going to do now? Are they going to go and press your boy Meek Mill? Some people saying he will. They will. But we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he, if they're going to try to press Meek Mill. I don't think that that's going to happen because Meek roll a little, little deep and, um, I don't think Meek no 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 bitch, but still in all, I mean we're gonna see what's gonna happen. All three of them pressed Ray J outside of a club parking lot for basically clowning Diddy for his allegations. So me and everybody is curious now: Is Diddy's sons also going to pull up on Meek and the Dream Chasers for denouncing Diddy? And also very important to note: I believe Meek is the first official homeboy of Diddy to actually come out publicly to denounce him. So 
Yeah, that's true too. He is. He's one. Of, he is one of the first to actually come out and denounce him. And I, I kind of like. I can understand why Meek did it. I just think that. I don't know. Maybe he should have been did it. He should have been did it. And he also. Uh, what did he do in the beginning? Did he do something in the beginning? Meek did something in the beginning, right? I believe he did. What What was it? Oh, he paid somebody $100,000. I think I investigated it to, to go and um, investigate or something like that. Uh, he said he got 100000 or 10000 or 20000 or something like that to give somebody if they could make sure his name is not a part of Diddy or he don't have no, nothing out there or something like that. I'm not sure exactly what the story was, and I ain't going to sit here and try to report it like I know. But there was something else that happened before this. I know that. And people was talking about it. And now um, he's coming out and saying, no Diddy gang. Yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe he's saying that because somebody found <laughs> found that he had nothing to do with it. Do with anything. And, he, and now he's happy to say that. Who knows? So far, everybody has been quiet. Everybody Diddy partied with has refused to speak on it. Meek is the first official person in Diddy's camp to come out and say, hey, I'm no Diddy gang. I'm not rocking with it. Listen, man, you guys get in the comments below. What do you guys think about Meek officially denouncing Diddy? Should Meek get some props for this? Or was this a little bit too corny? Post your comments below. Subscribe to my channel, like this video. I'll see you guys later, man. Yeah, man, make sure y'all go follow him. Yeah, man, Meek Mill. Sometimes I be thinking that a lot of these rappers who did stuff with Diddy, and I even mean, like, nothing crazy. I'm saying, like, they did work with Diddy. And they used to hang around them. Sometimes I think that they forget that they did a lot of these things or they hung around him. And I think a lot of them, I think a lot of them uh, are going to, excuse me, I'm trying to fix something. I think a lot of them are going to uh, backpedal if Diddy gets off or gets out. And I think a lot of people um, have something to do with Diddy. And I think that they are, they're kind of like, how would I say this? They kind of like really trying to dance around the fact that they were hanging around Diddy. A lot of people, even some of the people that's coming out and saying that they don't like Diddy, they probably had something to do with him at one point. You know what I'm saying? And Meek Mill ain't no different. I think Meek Mill, I think Meek Mill is only doing this so he can get it, get in front of whatever's coming. That's it. And it's not wrong with that. If that's what you want to do to get in front of whatever's coming, okay, cool. But you just better be prepared because with, with whatever's coming, y'all, I don't think y'all ready. I don't think y'all ready. And I think the, these lists that they're talking about, the Diddy list and the Epstein list and all these lists, I think y'all got to be prepared for this because whatever y'all going to see, y'all probably ain't going to believe it if it's somebody that y'all like on that list. Y'all probably not going to believe it. Y'all going to say, oh, I don't believe this because it's somebody y'all like. Oh, and I don't think they would do that. Probably. Probably don't think they would, but they would. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. But either way, 12 o'clock show is over. Y'all have yourself a good, 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 good afternoon. Six o'clock show coming up. I love y'all. See y'all. Peace. Bye.